Midjourney version 5 is out for alpha testing and I've got some good news and some bad news. There's some great news if you're a creator who likes realism. You're going to be squealing like a happy pig. But there's some bad news if you like Midjourney's default style. The style is gone, or maybe just hidden away in a cupboard while the Midjourney team plays with a shiny new AI camera. Let's take a look at how version 5 is different from previous versions and how you might need to change your prompts to get the best results. Midjourney version 5 is like no other version you've seen before. It has power, lots of power, but maybe too much power? You're going to have to prompt very differently in this new version. To use version 5, type dash dash v space 5 after your prompt. Currently, the default version in Midjourney is still version 4, style 4C to be exact. V5 is in alpha testing and it's early days. It's likely the model will change, but let's start with the basics. The default Midjourney style is now photograph. So Midjourney has made an AI camera that can go anywhere in the world. Images of the natural environment, events, or spectacular skylines are yours for the asking. And you're going to love the people and street scenes. Let's just pause a moment and zoom into the face and hands of this AI high fashion model. Midjourney version 5 isn't perfect, but holy cow are the hands better. You may still get too many mangled fingers and some extraneous text, but this is happening a lot less in version 5. Midjourney AI seems to have cracked the code to making realistic hands. So far I've used very simple prompts to get these realistic images, and that's a big change. The default Midjourney style is now photographic rather than digital art. Just prompt penguins and you'll get penguins, realistic looking penguins. But now here's the downside. With the realism comes a little less imagination. Midjourney version 4 had no problem coming up with images of time traveling penguins. But the much more literal version 5 struggled with the idea. No time travel anywhere to be found in these penguins. If I pushed version 5 and made time travel a key part of the prompt, I got drawings of penguins. Midjourney version 5 can imagine something, but as a storybook. I could prompt a little closer, but version 5 was nowhere near as creative as version 4. Don't worry, there is imagination in version 5, it's just harder to get. You have to know how to ask. Midjourney version 5 is more likely to give you what you want. But do you know what you want? Along with more realism, version 5 brings more details. You don't have to ask for high detail, HD, high res, 8K, or any of the many other prompts that creators use to try to pump up the details. You're going to get them in version 5 without asking. Let's compare details in version 4 and version 5. This staircase looks pretty good in version 4, but in version 5 the stained glass window is more fleshed out, as is the stair rail. The dappled shadows on the stairs are a lot more detailed, and the textured floor is more detailed. The overall look of version 4 is good, but it's in the details where version 5 really shines. You don't have to prompt for this detail in version 5, it's going to be there. Down to the whiskers on the giraffe's chin, the hairs on the back of the neck, and the wrinkles around the eyes and nose. The details in the version 4 image are good, all the details just look sharper and a little more real in version 5. Version 5 is bringing the sharpness that a lot of creators have been craving. Version 5 has a much better shallow depth of field. That's the blurry background that sets the main subject apart. Version 5 is like having a really good camera with a fast lens. But there's a trade-off. With the realism comes a little less imagination, at least by default. You're going to have to ask for the art. This macro image of an ant in version 4 is pretty cool. Okay, the ant has colors that you wouldn't expect to see on an ant, though maybe the iridescence of other insects. Version 5 nails the colors and the macro close-up, but it loses some of the unreal, but artistic, art colors. You're going to have to ask for something beyond the real world. Midjourney won't stamp its style on your image. If you want something in a particular style, you're going to have to ask for it. But if you get the prompt right, you'll get something absolutely amazing. Let's look at another example. I ran this prompt a lot when I was testing aspect ratios in version 4, so I have a lot of examples, and I love them all. But using the same prompt in version 5 gives me a much more realistic image, even without additional prompting. But I find the image is not very fantasy. If I want more fantasy, I'm going to have to ask for it. 
This can be challenging for creators who don't have a strong art background. Midjourney seems to have gotten more serious and less whimsical. Remember those lighting terms I taught you back in the video about pro prompting tricks? You're really going to need them now. Add some lighting to your prompt. Cinematic or dramatic lighting works really well. And those art terms that I've been teaching you, you'll need these too. I'll put a link to the videos in the description below. And don't forget to add some art styles or artists' names. It's not that V5 isn't artistic, it's very artistic. You're just going to have to work for it a little more. Here are some other tips from the Midjourney team. Prompting in version 5 is moving towards being more complex and less simple. The days are gone when you can toss in quick prompts just to see what Midjourney will do. And here's a little bit of nonsense that I use to test AI image generators. Version 5 is more detailed and less realistic, but frankly, if I came across Midjourney now and this was the output, I probably wouldn't have stayed around to play. There's nothing for my imagination to get a hold of. It's a party trick getting photos out of my computer, not something that spurs my imagination. And I'm just gonna say it. The Midjourney images without style prompts are just ugly. Maybe a few would be good for stock photography or marketing, but there's no artistic charm. And because Midjourney version 5 knows more things, it can get confused if you don't give it enough information. Prompting for Galaxy isn't enough. Do I want the phone or space? Midjourney version 5 doesn't know, so it gives me both. Give Midjourney a little bit more information and the results will be stellar. The Midjourney team says we just need to prompt a little bit differently, but we're not all artists, so this might be a little bit of a struggle. And here's one change that some creators won't like. It's the longer list of banned words. Because of the enhanced realism, V5 has more strict word banning. One of the most surprising additions to the banned word list is chest. You're going to have to come up with some synonyms for chest, as in pirate chest, or try fusing the words together. But there is hope. There's some signs that V5 can be fanciful. And use a powerful word like imagination and you'll get an amazing image. So there is art in there somewhere. This change makes me a little sad. One thing I liked about Midjourney is that even a beginner could get a beautiful image. Now it's much more hit or miss. Midjourney has taken the artistic training wheels off and we're not all ready. For version 5, you're going to need to tidy up your favorite prompts. Because the model is so detailed, you won't need phrases like insanely detailed unless you want a particular look. And mean every word of your prompt. Take out any extra words. Any words that you do use, know what they mean. For instance, Unreal Engine is for making video games more real. But if you don't want a video game look, don't prompt for Unreal Engine. Some of the common terms in prompts may actually make your V5 images worse. In version 5, there's no room for extraneous words in the prompt. You need to mean them all. Cutting out the fat gets you a much better image. If you keep extra words in your prompt, at best, the image detail will start to deteriorate. At worst, it will totally mess up your image. There are rumors of a friendly version 5 where the mid-journey style comes back, and that would make me very happy. There's no doubt that Midjourney version 5 produces much more realistic and detailed images. As someone who personally enjoys the aesthetics of version 4, I must admit that it's going to take some getting used to. But all it takes is the right prompt and we can tap into the imagination of version 5. There may be some terms and prompt recipes that don't work the same way as before, but that's all part of the fun of exploring the new technology. With the power of Midjourney version 5 at our fingertips, the possibilities are truly endless. Share your favorite features of version 5 and some of the parts you don't like in the comments below. If this video is helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.